Hi Aquarius, here with a reading for the sign of Aquarius. This reading could resonate with anyone um, who has Aquarius strongly in their chart, um, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. I am going to be using a free form style of reading today. I'm excited to be doing it. It's what I realized I really like doing with, with the Tool of Tarot. All right, let's go ahead and get started. What is the energy internally that Aquarius is feeling? What is the energy internal, internally that Aquarius is feeling in this next period of time? Energy internally, energy internally. What is this? What is this energy? It's not coming out. It's just making itself known. The chariot. Okay. Energy internally. Energy internally for Aquarius. This is the first time I've used this deck. Haven't even really studied it that much, Aquarius. I like to just go. It has with me and my readings. It just seems like it has to be real it has to be authentic i can't ever even practice it doesn't even feel like i can practice sometimes all right that's how aquarius is is feeling it internally let's look at your external your external environment now aquarius there's a lot of things popping off here as you can tell um let's see what else is coming forward what else is coming forward let's see if there's anything else here okay i think that's probably good let me now all of a sudden the deck feels quiet okay let's see what's here for you what is here for Aquarius now these cards are a little bit harder to see um, so for those of you that really like seeing the details on the cards you might be a little frustrated by this but um, it does help to sometimes use new decks and this is one that I found that that really kind of resonated with me it's a little bit of a different style then I usually um, like, this is your environment outside of you. So this is what's happening around you. Well, here you are, Aquarius, King of Swords. There is, there is some sort of love energy that's springing up here for Aquarius. Love energy that's springing up um, next to the hanged man. So there's something here, Aquarius, that you are taking some time. You're taking some time to try to figure out what this is, whether this is a new love coming towards you or you connecting in with someone that you're feeling um, inspired by. It doesn't have to be romantic love. It can be a new inspiration, something that just lights you on fire. And I don't mean in, in an energetic way. I mean... <sighs> See how she's kind of lit up here? It kind of, it, it, in a way, it, it creates a vibration within her, a vibration of bliss, a vibration of um, aliveness, uh, um, a, a, live, a livening, a quickening. Um, something is within her. It could help restore um, love within you, um, Aquarius, but there there is something here that has livened you. It has brought you back into a certain sort of vibration, a certain sort of a, a livelier way of thinking about love, a livelier way of thinking about love. That's what's coming forward. And, and I think it, there is a consideration here with the hangman. You could have waited for this for a long time, or there could have been some sort of delay with this. I think you know now, Aquarius, that you have a spiritual team or you have a certain kind of team that is just for you that is there to help you. Uh, with a hanged man, if you see the, the spider web here, it's. It, I think there's an awareness now that if you fall off this tightrope, if you fall off this tightrope, there is going to be something that's going to catch you. See how come I, I like these? I like these images. It's just much more helpful when you see them up close. They're not images that you can really see from far away, which is frustrating. So I might have to spend a little bit of time, especially on certain cards that I'm called to, to show you, to show you what these cards are, what these images are. Um, but I think that there is a realization here, Aquarius, that that you are not alone in this, that you are walking next to your team or walking however you resonate with 
with the higher power that you connect in with, whatever that is for you. Um, I think there is a, a, an awareness now that you are not alone. And um, whatever happens, it's good to take some time to really feel this out, to feel out what this is about. And, and I think there's an awareness now, Aquarius, that, that whatever happens, you will be okay because you are taking time. You are trusting. You are surrendering into this. And you're taking the time to, to determine what this love and inspiration means for you and why it's here for you to experience, why it's come into your, um, into your, into your reality here. Um, because Ace of Cups is something that just like, um, just like the Ace of Pentacles, it is an, a new love that's bringing in that is a part of your reality. We do have the King, we do have the King of Swords here. And, um, the, it is you, Aquarius. It is you in a very masculine energy, which is requiring you to now, now make decisions, make, make important decisions. Look at the big picture of this. Be fair because the King of Swords is very fair. Um, there is an energy of kindness here because remember the King of Swords is a humanitarian. Uh, the King of Swords does not like to bring injustice into the world. The King of Swords does not like it. It does not feel comfortable to bring injustice in. So there is kindness. There's compassion. There's a focus on what's fair. There's a focus on what's right. Um, and there is a need by this group of Aquarius people to make the best decision um, for them and for the people around them. So this is looking at the big picture. So that's where you are right now, um, Aquarius, for this group of people um, and where you're going to be in the next short period of time. All right. So um, very interesting. Now I'm going to move these energies up to the corner and let's bring these down and see what we have here. All right, so we have the King of, damn, we have the King of Wands. So there's a King of Wands somewhere in your environment. All right, and then we have, we have the Page of Cups here. I have to look at these cards. We have the sun. You can always pause the video if you want to look at these cards for longer. We have the knight of cups. Let's see if I can get that. We have the Knight of Swords. See, this is a big, this is a big period of time for you now, Aquarius. So there's something big happening here for you. And we have the Ace of Wands. Damn, Aquarius. This is another, last week I feel this, this, this was a, a big week for Aquarius last week, I feel, wasn't it, Aquarius? Wasn't there a reading for a group of you that were really stepping into something big. So I have a lot to look into here. So, okay, first of all, okay, I have to kind of get my bearings now. This is a big, big period of time for you. Uh, we have a King of Wands here. We have a Page of Cups. Um, we have the Sun Energy. We have the um, Knight of Cups. We have the Knight of Swords. And we have the Ace of Wands. So there's something really moving forward, um, really getting going here. <sighs> We have a King of Wands. Now, the King of Wands is a, is a person who's in the masculine energy. Um, this is probably a mass. It's probably a male, but it could be a female as well. Now, the King of Wands is an energy that is um, moving forward very passionately. So this person could be coming forward very passionately with something that they want are wanting to do. Um, if the King of Wands is right next to the to the Page of Cups, so there is a love introduction. There's an energy of love. There's an energy of inspiration. Um, there could be an apology. There could be um, uh, meeting someone new who's very passionate, very forward moving. 
um, doesn't isn't stopping. Isn't is there's no shyness here. There there's um, because remember the King of Wands steps through fear. So let's let's remember now, Aquarius, that the King of Wands could have fear. The King of Wands could have hesitation. The King of Wands could even feel very insecure about himself or herself. But the the ability that this person has is to step through that and to walk through that. So it's so just remember that there it probably is something here that this person is stepping through um, to get to step towards you. Um, but whatever this is, this this connection, this love connection, this love, new love, this new affection, this new something. Um, I don't even know how this is happening because there are so many of us that are stuck at home. So whatever's going on with this group of Aquarius, um, physical location and physical proximity is not of a concern. There's no, there's something here that's happening um, that's outside the spectrum of our physical form and our physical location. Um, the sun is here. So this is a, is, this is a Leo type energy, um, but it's a very excited energy, exuberant energy, passionate energy, um, happy, happiness is here, like um, a happy energy, uh, uh, an energy that's springing forward, almost like a tigger, like in Winnie the Pooh, that kind of an energy with tigger bouncing around, that kind of energy is what what I'm being shown. Um, we do have a knight of cups here, so I do think this, for many of you, this is a love, this is a I mean, how can I say, Aquarius, this, this, there, this, there are some of you here. I mean, others of you could be resonating with this in other ways because it is not up to me. I mean, there, I'm just telling you what I'm being, what is coming through and what I'm being shown. Um, so you all are connecting with this in your own special way that, that we know that kind of situation happens. I know that happens because I've had people tell me time and time and time again, but we can't deny that there are some of you here that are stepping forward into some sort of a love situation or a um, new romance or new tingling or new chemistry or something here, um, it, with, with this group of people. Um, there is a knight of cups here and the knight of, and the, and the Knight of Swords. So we have two energies, and uh, I, I really think that this is an energy. The, the Knight of Cups is the King of Wands, and the and the Knight of Swords is you, Aquarius. Um, with the Ace of Wands here, too, there's some new action being taken. Um, so, so whether this is a new relationship or a new experience or a return of an old experience, I like, Aquarius, that you're in the Knight of Swords. That tells me that you're being reasonable, you're being logical, you are being, you are able to communicate in the way that is most, um, comfortable for you. And I think that you are being quite direct in how you feel and what you're thinking. Um, uh, remember the, the King of Swords is here as well. So you are looking at this fairly. You're being kind. You're being compassionate, but you're also being quite strong. You could be saying few words. So you, you could be, because remember the Queen of Swords is the one that is always talking. She does more talk, way more talking than the King of Swords. King of Swords is much more, um, able to see the, see the big picture. Um, not that the Queen of Swords is the Queen of Swords is a requirement. Like we all need to have the Queen of Swords in our lives, but the King of Swords is also good too because um, he can kind of see the bigger picture, and and that's what you're doing here. You're looking at the bigger picture. You're making careful choices. You're communicating very carefully um, and very discerningly. And we do have the Knight of Swords here, which tells me that you are able to communicate in a very direct way. Um, so the, we do have the Ace of Wands here too. The Ace of Wands is passion. It's excitement. It's an energy of re re-energizing, being re-energized. The Energizer Bunny is coming forward. Um, it, it could, whatever this situation is, whether this is a new love or whether, whatever it is for you, um, you're able to communicate how you would like to. Uh, and you are feeling energized by this in some way. Does it have to be that you are um, sitting right into a sensual relationship with the Ace of Wands? No. It could mean that you're just excited about this that it's given you a, um, a source of energy, a source of fuel. You could, the, the fact that the Ace of Wands is right next to the Knight of Swords, you could really be um, communicating so, you know, in a way that you haven't before, that now you have the energy, now you have the strength to communicate in, in, a, in a new way with this person, right? Because the Ace of, the Ace of Wands is about 
um, new energy, new action, right? And the, and it's following the Knight of Swords, which tells me that the new action and the new energy could be having something to do with whatever you're communicating, which could be passion. It could be no thank you. It could be when should we go? When should we do it? When should we go have drinks? Let's do this. Let's do that. It could be that. It could be whatever it is for you. But remember, um, you do have the King of Swords and I really, and, and you have the Hangman. This, these are internal feelings. So I really like that. I feel safe bringing this forward to you. Why do I have to say I feel safe bringing this forward to you? Because we have a lot of energy here. We have a lot of excitement here. We have a lot of, we have Ace of Cups, the Ace of Cups, which is new love. We have the Ace of Ace of Wands, which is new passion. We have energies of movement, and the energies of movement are passion and and clarity, the and and communication. Um, we have a Page of Cups here, which is something rekindling or kindling for the first time. Um, we we and the Sun is here, which is adding like a a power and a strength to this. That you you know when we have the King of Wands, who's fueled by the Sun, and then the Sun, which is the fuel source. What why I'm saying I feel safe in bringing this forward is because here you are in all of your all of your um. I was just shown a column, a column. So you have the strength now to stay steady in this with that column. Um, I've just shown a column, like column in, a columns in front of a big building. It just adds an energy of dignity. Um, with a hanged man, you're really able to take your time and see this for what it is. But we can't deny that there is an Ace of Cups here. So let's go ahead and dig deeper now. Free form, free form, baby. Let's see what we've got here. Let's use a different deck. Let's use Wheel of the Year and see what we have. Um, I'm going to kind of put these away so they don't distract me. And I want to go into this Ace of Cups. Now, remember, this is how you're feeling internally with the Ace of Cups. This is coming out as an energy that is just your energy. It's your energy. Um, now, remember, this is an external energy and the Ace of Wands is here for external. So that's interesting. So internally, there's love and inspiration. Externally, there's passion, excitement, new action. So quite interesting. All right, let's dig into this Ace of Cups. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups for Aquarius. Page of Swords. Two of Cups, damn Aquarius, Two of Wands, <laughs> see, Hanged Man, Hanged Man in the reverse, so now we have two Hanged Mans when we look at you internally, and the Hanged Man is in, rever is in reverse now, so, I mean, with the Page of Swords here, you're really, you're really looking at this situation and trying to find the clarity around it. You, you could be a little bit suspicious around it. You could be watching it. You could be in a stalking energy. There's something here that you are looking for. It's, it's a kind of a vulnerable feeling. It's an awkward feeling, slightly suspicious. Um, could be, um, it, the, the page of swords is a, it's a learning energy. It's, it's an energy that is, it does revolve around communication, and sometimes we could be questioning why there's communication. We could be questioning what is actually being communicated. We could be questioning what is what is the meaning behind those words? What are the, what is the meaning for this introduction? What does the universe have in store for me? What does this person really want to say to me? Why is this person even connecting with me? With the Page of Swords, it's a lot of whys. Why? Why is this happening? What's the reason for it? Um, well, the Two of Cups is here. So I do feel like this is two people. This is two people that are connected very in a heart to heart way or in a very partnership way. They could have um, very appealing personalities that for both of them that, that the personalities are different and they could just click. But I do think there that there is um, a, an affection here that's felt with the two of cups. Remember, cups is emotion and the two um, talks about a, um, a partnership type feeling with the two. It takes two to tango, right? It takes two. It takes two to build this type of partnership. It takes two to feel this kind of situation, right? Um, just like if you were, I mean, it, you can't really have a love relationship without another person. I mean, you can have it with yourself, but it doesn't feel the same. 
right, with the Two of Cups. So it's something that's two to tango here. And the two of you have this something here. It's it's a little something something here that you guys have. Um, with the Two of Wands, the question is, though, what to do about this now? What to do about this situation? Um, what what action to take? Which road to go down? Because I think there there is here an intersection where you can decide, and, and you might have to come to a complete stop um, and look at your GPS, look at your mapping system to try to figure out, all right, which way do I want to turn? Do I want to go next to this? Do I want to step tiptoe around it? Do I want to go driving right into it? Um, do I want to go in the other direction? Which way do I want to go? And this reading is not here to tell you which way to go. It's here, it's here to say, um, if you're resonating with this, this is happening. And you're, and, and you're not imagining this, right? I mean, unless you're in an illusion, but I don't feel for, for a group of you, I don't feel this is a fantasy. I don't feel like this is illusion here. Um, so with the hangman in, in reverse, it tells me that I think in the next, oh, seven to 10 days, I think you have figured out what you're going to do. So, um, you, you have found clarity and you will find clarity on what to do here. Um, but at first, when this when this energy comes in for you, when the situation comes in for you, I think you you're having a very watchful eye about what's going on. A very watchful eye here uh, about this Ace of Cups. All right, let's look into some of these other energies. So this is a big reading. Um, it's it's a it's a big reading, Aquarius. So I, I have to be careful. I mean, I can't go into everything. I just want to. Well, we're going to go into the Ace of Wands, that's for sure. Let's go into the Page of Cups and see what that is. And let's go into the Knight of Cups and see what that is. Now, I think in the extended reading, I'm going to go into intentions, right? And I'll go into what does the King of Wands intend and what does the King of Swords intend. And we can go into intentions in the extended. But for right now, let's kind of dig into these energies in a, in a more preliminary way and see what comes out here. We have new passion. We have chemistry. We have action. We have something here that's quite exciting. I realize I'm pushing them all out of sight, but that's okay because I want to just focus on this one energy for right now. Um, and then we'll go into these others. So. Let's go into this Ace of Wands. Tell me more about this Ace of Wands, please. Tell me more about the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands. Here we have the Devil Energy. Ace of Wands Energy. Could be very passionate, full of chemistry, full of excitement. There's a star flipping over. There you are, Aquarius. You might be at a different level or at a new level. There's the Ace of Swords right over the top of the Devil Energy with the Ace of Wands. Now we have three Aces. Three of Cups, there's a union here, there's a celebration joy here. Six of Cups flipping over, Nine of Swords flipping over, there's a, whoa, Seven of Pentacles. All right, so there's a lot of energy. This is what I mean with the Ace of Wands. We are looking at something that's very full of energy here with the Ace of Wands. So there's a lot popping off here. There's a lot popping off. First of all, we have the Devil. These two, card, these two cards never did come out, but they're sure showing themselves. With the Six of Cups, this is a soul connection. Nine of Swords being worried about this. Is this a soul connection? Is it not a soul connection? Why is it there? Why is there a, so there's a lot of chatter. There's a lot of talking. There's a lot of overthinking. Brr, 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 whir, 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 whir. The brain is just going, right? It's going. And it's being, why, how, how come the brain is going? How come you're thinking so much about this Aquarius? Because of the Nine of Swords. That's what the Nine of Swords does. It's like a fuel. The Nine of Swords is a fuel that, that can speed the brain up. Is it a good fuel? Is it a healthy fuel? Not necessarily. It, it, it might, it may not be a healthy fuel. Right, because it's it's spinning the brain. Something is spinning the brain. Now, I'm going to put these two cards back because they didn't actually come out. Uh, we do have the devil energy. This could just be full of passion, full of fear even. Um, this could be something that puts you back into a place where you've worked to recover from, right? Um, but this could just be a very, it could even be a tense situation. It can be, it's filled with energy. What happens when we're filled with energy? Whether it's energy that's optimistic or energy that is fearful or energy that's excited or energy that's nervous 
what happens when we're so filled with energy because see we have the ace of wands over you know the devil is right over the top so this is saying that there's new energy here and we're so filled with it that's what the devil energy is it's a lack of moderation and remember this is in your outside environment so this could be here the king of wands in this energy with the ace of wands right it could be that this energy is starting to permeate into your internal energy as well, right? But there's a situation here that's that's ramped up, that's that's about to erupt here. It's so full of energy, whether it's anxiety or whether it's passion, whether it's excitement, whether it's worry, whatever it is, it's ramped up. And that's what we know with the devil energy is when we have a lack of moderation, it can really steam up. And what happens when it steams up, what happens when it, it fills, well, there's eruptions, right? There, there's eruptions. Something has to, something has to happen with the devil energy to, um, allow out that excess energy. However, we do it. And sometimes it can just be a lot of passion. It can be a lot of, you know, however you get rid of that passion however that is for you, right? It could be something negative or it could be something very enjoyable, right? So we have the Ace of Swords here as well. So, you know, I, I think that this is being communicated. This is here. It is being communicated, whatever this is. Now, if this is not a love situation, you will know and you will say, okay, I know this for me, this is not a love situation. This is something I'm doing for work that I'm really inspired by. And I am really in action now and I really am going forward. And I know if I'm not careful, I could be really over committing myself to, to this situation. I could really be getting into, into a situation here for, for my, for my work or for my hobby or, or with friends or something. I could really be getting very deeply into a situation here, um, that maybe I should slow down, right? So this, it doesn't have to be romance here, but there's so many energies here that are, they're about love. I think this is for many of you. So there is some sort of communication here. And I think there's no doubt about what this is as you move forward. There's no doubt about what this is. There's no doubt there's a lot of passion and excitement here, right? The three of cups is here. This is something that's emotional, something that touches the heart, something that connects you in a very joyful, heartfelt way. Um, now, the Three of Cups is a, a type of joy and celebration and a re reunion type of energy. This could have even happened, you know, we have an egg here and we have a chick. This is for, for many people around the world. This is a, this is an important holiday, um, that we're, we're living through right now with, with, um, um, that has to do with eggs and babies and things like that with, with springtime and, and even for some people, the, the holiday of Easter. So it could be signifying a time period as well. And with the three of cups, but it is something that's, that's, that, that's about people that feel, feel, that feel and care for each other getting together again. People that feel for each other and feel that heart connectedness coming together. It doesn't have to be again, but sometimes it can be a reunion or it can be a union, but it does bring a lot of happiness and joy. You have the seven of pentacles here. Now, while there's this intense energy and this clarity of what's happening, like it cannot be denied, and there's this happiness, there is an energy here of it's going to take some time. It's going to take some work. And I, I think that it does have a grounded energy here with the Seven of Pentacles. So, so the person who is coming towards you in your outer environment might be realizing that it's going to take some work. It's going to take some energy. It's going to take some time. Um, this person might realize that, you know, just as any investor, just as anyone who invests in something, there isn't really a guarantee, is there? There's not a guarantee. This farmer that's looking at this crop of apples um, has a feeling that it's going to be good, but there's still work to be done, and there's still no real guarantee that there's going to be a good crop here. For example, maybe the, the, the pests and the worms will move into the apples, or perhaps there will be, you know, a big storm and the apples will blow off, or, um, you know, maybe the trees will get sick, or maybe she'll have a baby here and she won't be able to harvest like she's planning to, right? So it's not that there's a guarantee here, but there is a willingness to, 
to step forward into this and work on this and see where this goes. So I really like that the Seven of Pentacles is here. This is kind of a grounded energy, and I, and I think it's going to help to mellow this intensity. It will help to mellow the intensity of the Ace of Wands. So I really like that. And I feel like this is part mostly connected to the King of Wands. That's kind of how I'm feeling about this. It's mostly connected. Could be a Capricorn type of energy. Could be an Aries Leo Sag. Could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius. Could, yep. Yeah. Could be a Scorpio Cancer Pisces. Yeah, there's a lot, a lot of different personalities, a lot of different energies here. All right, let's look now at the next one. Let's look at this Page of Cups. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. Tell me more about the Page of Cups. Tower. King of Wands. Huh. We're not playing around here, guys. King of Wands is back. So this is truly um, the King of Wands type energy here. I think this could have been a real surprise for the King of Wands. It, it could have been a real surprise for you. There's a huge surprise energy here. The King of Wands could be going through a major change in his life as well, the King of Wands. Um, but this tower is connected in with the Page of Cups. So Whatever kind of inspiration or love or, or new introduction here, I think it really um, clobbered the King of Wands in a good way because, look, there's new inspiration. Here's the Page of Cups again. So we have two Pages of Cups here. The King of Wands could have come forward and, and said something or reintroduced himself or introduced himself with, a, with this love or this new introduction, um, but he could have gotten a major surprise here. Maybe... Maybe this King Juan saw you or heard about you or reconnected in with you in a, in a surprising way. Um, and, and, uh, whatever this is with this tower, this is a big surprise for the King of Wands and it could be a surprise for you as well. Let's look into the tower energy now. Looking into this tower energy. Ace of Swords, communication. So maybe you decided you were going to reciprocate in some way. Maybe somebody has been trying to come towards you and and um, open up to you or try to introduce himself to you. And now all of a sudden you're willing to communicate with Ace of Swords, right? You could be, there could be some communication here that's coming forward to you or that you were able to communicate. Whatever it is, there's a big surprise here with the Ace of Swords. I don't necessarily think it's a bad surprise either. I think it's a huge surprise. It's it's like a, oh my gosh, you know, the, the sun's here, King, Queen of Wands. King of, damn, King of Wands, Queen of Wands. Okay, this is a counterpart type of energy. Look how they're just sitting right on top of each other here. The Queen of Wands is over the tower. The Queen of Wands is next to the Ace of Swords. So it could be that the Queen of Wands has decided to communicate, or there's there's a there is a damn communication coming in. There okay. Aquarius, I can't I, I don't know what to say. Queen of Wands, King of Wands, counterpart energies, very passionate, very, very alive, very powerful, very empowered people um, that are that are communicating here. Could be Leo Aries Sag. Page of Cups. Let's look into the Page of Cups again. The world. Allowing a new beginning. Stepping into a new beginning. Opening a door. Allowing old endings to end. And allowing new beginnings. There's an allowing here. There's a stepping into. There's a stepping into new horizons, new opportunities, new bold movements. And all of these energies are around the Page of Cups. All of these energies. So there is a communication here. There's a love message going back and forth or a love message coming forward here. A love message coming forward. Let's look at... Let's look at the, 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 the Knight of Cups here. 
Knight of Cups energy. Nine of Pentacles. Nine of Wands. Page of Cups. The Knight of Cups is a very independent energy. I think this person has his or her own financial independence. This person, and I feel it's probably a masculine, it's a masculine energy, whether it's a female or male, it's taking action, this energy, this person. Um, this person has financial reliability. They're, they're fiscally responsible. They are probably independent. So that tells me that they, they have an energy of independence around them. They have the ability to make their own decisions. They have their own personal preferences. They're not being held back by anyone or they're not being held back by any other situations here with the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Wands is here that tells me that they could be a little bit um, wounded with the Nine of Wands. They could have um, been hurt before. They could have... Um, you know, been stabbed in the back before in their life or have been um, manhandled in, in a way. So they, they could have an energy now of, of a woundedness. And this could be causing them to um, come forward in a way that might not have been expected. There, there is an unexpected type of energy here. And... Um, it could have be that even you are responding in an unexpected way. The Page of Cups is here. This is new love. This is new freshness. This is new vitality. Um, this is this is affection that's part of this. So there is affection here. There is enjoyment of life here. Um, there is a, a beating heart that's 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 coming alive with the Page of Cups. Let's look into the Nine of Wands really quick. Let's look into the Nine of Wands. Knight of Wands. So even though this person has wounds, this person has bumps and bruises, um, this person is taking action with the Knight of Wands. Damn. Really fast incoming, really passionate incoming. So it's going to be important. I think this is what's interesting, Aquarius, is that you have... You have the the hanged man and um, and the king of swords here because there is some new love energy here and you have the hanged man. So I think that that's why you're in the hanged man energy because this comes in really passionately. There's no holds barred. There's nothing that is on hold from the from this knight of cups energy. It's all moving forward. Like what what might have been. Keeping this from happening in the past is is no longer here um, for this King of Wands. It's no longer here. So this is a very exciting period of time, but I, it does look like, Aquarius, you're able to slow this down. You're able to see the bigger picture. You're able to take some time and make really good decisions. Um, this energy, this story is not coming forward for you to fight against this, but to understand that it's happening and understand which way is best for you to move. What are the decisions that, that are healthiest for you and that will help you step into a, a, a future that is um, full of equality for you and allows you to really be in your own empowerment. Um, and, and with the hangman here, I think that you're really able to take some time to figure out what that is for you. All right, Aquarius, um, I am going to move into the extended now, and the extended is going to be all about, because I'm, I'm not, I, I think for this week, Aquarius, I'm not going to determine beforehand what I'm going to do in the extended, because it's free form, so I might as well just free form it all, right? Um, it, it's a freestyle kind of energy. So the extended is all, it's going to be about intention, right? What is the King of Wands going to say? What is the King of Swords going to say? What does the King of Wands intend to do? What does the King of Swords intend to do? Let's figure out intention here because um, I, I think that we can get some good information here and um, this is going to be a good one. This is a, this is a very interesting situation that's here for Aquarius. All right, my friends, thank you for being here. It's always a pleasure to read for you. Um, I, I hope this has been helpful for you um, and I uh, will see you back on YouTube in, a, in another week or so with another update for Aquarius. Thank you all very much, Aquarius.